Hi, I'm Joel Gabriel Gold, and I'm chair of the uh, Hall of Fame committee. And we have a recipient tonight. Ready? And <clears throat> Pat Cruz, who I'll introduce you to in a moment, has been involved in the world of purebred dogs since the 1950s when her, fa her family showed boxers. Over the years, Pat has owned, shown, and bred a variety of breeds of varying levels of success. But in reality, or more importantly, it is in the service of the sport that Pat has made her mark. <clears throat> Having been involved in many organizations that, in their own way, form a part of the fabric of the fancy, including being one of the founders of the Owner Handlers Club Association, as well as the Liberty Pound Racing Association. Pat has been a member of the Stewards Club of America and the Dog Writers Association of America, and has become an integral part of the major venues within the fancy. <clears throat> you just heard about Walter Fletcher. Pat was a stringer uh, for Walter Fletcher was at the New York Times and a door columnist for three New York City daily newspapers. Pat, not Walter. <coughs> Pat has shared the joys of our sport with untold numbers of fellow dog owners and continues to do so in many ways. Long approved to judge some hound breeds, bull terriers, many bull terriers, and junior showmanship for nearly 40 years, Pat has the distinct honor of holding an international recognition, which has allowed her to preside at shows around the world. I would like to bring Pat up now. into the Dog Writers Hall of Fame, Patricia Cruz. We present you with this wonderful plaque. Which pretty much, uh, pretty much is described as what I just said. So without further ado, welcome to the Hall of Fame, and uh, you are a great, great attention. Thank you all very much. I feel I'm in pretty good company because members of this Hall of Fame include people who are no, no longer with us. The John Marvins, Ellsworth Howell, uh, Herb David, Lois Maestro, who gave me my first real byline when I, after I finished being a stringer for Walter Fletcher. So I'm humbled by this award. I'm welcoming the fact that everybody here has been here and supporting the group. I've been a member since 1971 and I want to continue that membership. I hope somebody here can say that in another 35 years. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I'm humbled, that's all I can tell you. It's been a privilege doing the work I do. I'm privileged every once in a while to have a byline again, and thankful to those publications that take it. But when I was on in, with the New York Post, and Cleveland A. Marie was here, and Pat Cruz was there, you can picture what that was like. We did it in the days when there was no uh, fax machines or emails and having to go to South Street Seaport to file your copy or to Stewart Avenue in Garden City to file your copy with Newsday. Those were the days that it was hard for the people. You guys have it a little easier. Everybody with a point and shoot and an iPad can be a, can be a dog writer. So we need to protect what we do as a real good sport and be in the sports pages. That's, what, that's one of the reasons I stepped back when they took it out of sports. This is a sport, and that's what Walter insisted on. And when he left the Times, that's when it all changed. So thank you very much. I really appreciate this honor. I'm in great company today. I was in great company then. Thank you very much.